Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're back. It's Plymouth Fogar versus Bristol City. The last time these two teams faced was earlier on in the season on the 19th, 19th of September 2023 where Bristol came out on top in a 4-1 home victory. Before that, on the 14th of August 2018, Argyle were victorious in the League Cup winning 1-0 away from home and before that again on the 8th of August 2017, again in the League Cup, Bristol was... Bristol City won 5-0 in, in what was a, a home thrashing. Now, as the league stands, us, Argyle, the host today, we currently stand 20th with 41 points coming to this game after a 2-1 away defeat to Norwich. Before that, a 1-0 home defeat to Preston. And before that, a 1-1 away draw to Blackburn. Now, as Bristol, they currently stand 13th with 50 points coming to this game after beating Leicester 1-0 at home. Before that, a 2-0 away defeat to West Brom. And before that, a 1-0 home win against Swansea. Now, today's game is massive for Argyle. Not only could we end up in the bottom three or bottom two if, if we lose and results don't go our way, we need to start picking up points and, the, and our, our home form needs to return back to what it was earlier on in the season. I'm excited for it. The sun is shining. It's decent weather. I hope everyone had a really good Easter. Without further ado, let's get to the stadium. Come on, you so in the stadium now, lineups are it's Coops in goal, uh, Phillips, Gibson, Mumba, Sonola, Forshaw, Houghton, Sousa, Whitaker, Devine, Hardy. It's a strong lineup, strong lineup. A few uh, unfamiliar starts. So obviously, we're seeing Forshaw back in the lineup, which is which is obviously a positive. Sousa getting a start. It's positive to see. Like I said, like I said previously, it's a massive game today. Um, yeah. We've got to get points on the board. And, and as the season's now closing in, the, the points are becoming harder to find. The score predictions. I'm going to go with a... It's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a tight one. I'm going to, I'm going to go with my heart and say a 1-1 draw. I think a point's better than none. I feel like a point will definitely be a positive point rather than rather than a negative one. Dad, score prediction? 2-1 on a go. 2-1. If we can get three points today, that puts us in a good... Uh, Good position going into the final six, but let's get into it. Come on, coach.
brilliant. So that's half time. It's goalless, but it's been a very entertaining half. I feel like Argyle's been on the front foot for the majority of it. I feel like Bristol, as the half led on, grew into the game a bit more. What a save from Michael Cooper on that first half to line him with a clear goal. But we've created chances. Whitaker's had that one on target. Hardy's had a couple off target. A few crosses going in. Bally Mumba hitting one just over the bar. It's a very positive half to come out on. But we know how I'll go play in the second half. We need to we need to go at them again, how we have this first half, and not let it slip like we have many a times, like we did Friday at Norwich. We can't let it slip. We need to carry on on the front foot and hopefully get get a goal or two. The the results so far, I'm pretty sure Huddersfield have uh, beaten Stoke, Blackburn have winning, so this results not going our way. But it's all to play for here, second half. It doesn't matter how the teams get on. As long as we do the job here, we're on the goods.
So that's full time from the Fargo Mill, Bristol City won it. It's a regular occurrence, we've lost again in the second half. Bristol came out and wanted it more, I believe. Um, we move on to Rotherham Friday. Results not looking our way. I'm pretty sure we're one place off the drop, one point of safety. Rotherham is now huge. Every game is huge. Rotherham and QPR, two must-win games. I feel like we drop any points there, the likelihood of us going down increases. Um, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. But I thought the fans were good up until about 80 minutes. And uh, and then you've seen it. You've seen the, the toxicness, the foster out chance. But players are still there clapping at the fans because we, we've tried to do. Move on to Friday. I will be there. But hopefully, an Argyle win, we need it. 